you tell a story that to me illustrates what has happened to our political system in regard to the middle class, in regard to democracy in the country as a whole, and it involves Hillary Clinton. I had written an op-ed about a piece of pending bankruptcy legislation. Um, uh, the credit card companies have been pushing to try to tighten the bankruptcy laws, uh, sort of like locking the doors to the hospitals and then claiming nobody's sick in America. Um, so they were trying to get the bankruptcy laws constrained, constricted, so that fewer families could get in. Why? Because you can make more money if those families don't go into bankruptcy, if you're a, a credit lender. And so I'd written an op-ed about how this would fall disproportionately hard on women who were raising families and who would be put in the position under this bill of trying to compete with Citibank, MasterCard, Visa, Bank One for getting alimony and child support from their ex-husbands. Mrs. Clinton evidently saw... The First Lady. The did. First Lady. She was then First Lady. This is in the 1990s, uh, late 1990s. Mrs. Clinton saw the piece, and I got a call from the White House. And they said Mrs. Clinton was going to be in town to give a speech in Boston, and would I come and meet with her? I said, sure. And so I put together all my files, I show up at the appointed place. After she's finished her speech, we're ushered into a tiny little room somewhere in the bowels of this hotel. And just the two of us, they close the door. Mrs. Clinton sits down. We have hamburgers and French fries. And you tutor her. And she says, tell me about bankruptcy. And I got to tell you, I never had a smarter student. Quick, right to the heart of it. I go over the law. It's a complex law. Went over the economics, showed her the graphs, showed her the charts, and she got it. Within 20 minutes, she could play where the rest of it would come. Well, then that will mean this part's happened. That will mean this has happened. I said, yes, that's right. And at the end of the conversation, Mrs. Clinton stood up. She said, let's get our picture taken, which we did. And she said, Professor Warren, we've got to stop that awful bill, referring to this bankruptcy bill that's sponsored by the credit card companies. So I left. She went back to Washington, and I heard later from someone who was a White House staffer that there were skid marks in the hallways when Mrs. Clinton got back as people were reversed direction on that bankruptcy bill. President, they were supporting the industry, and because of her... Uh, President repeated. Clinton had been showing that this was another way that he could be helpful to business. It wasn't a very high visibility bill. And when Mrs. Clinton came back with a little better understanding of how it all worked, they reversed course, and they reversed course fast. And indeed, the, the proof is in the pudding. The last uh, bill that came before President Clinton was that bankruptcy bill that was passed by the House and the Senate in 